Hey, John Katzelmedes is here to talk entertainment headlines on this Wednesday pre-Thanksgiving. Yes. Are you thankful to be here? I am grateful uh, every moment I uh, <laughs> hit the hit the pavement. I, yeah, I'm very thankful. My I, mom's coming into town tonight, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm all excited to see my mom. Oh, I love uh, your mom. She's mm -hmm. a great lady. Look out for mom. All right, well, maybe you're going to take her to the Magical Forest on Friday. We were just talking about that, maybe. Yeah. Might, that might happen. It's between that and Bronx Wanderers. That's our choice. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Magical Forest Relighting, always a big deal. Uh, such a great part of the holidays, mm -hmm. right? And it's at 530, I guess the shenanigans and the party begins. Um, and then 6 o'clock, I think, the tree Yeah, right. Get there about 5.30 if you want to get a good seat, and then 6 o'clock is when all the entertainment happens, and about 6.10 or 6.15 you see uh, Santa, and uh, I think that's Mrs. Claus. Yes. Or maybe that's a, a friend of Santa's. I guess it's Mrs. Claus. <laughs> a friend, quote-unquote. But that's uh, it's all happening tonight, and the, the Magical Forest is an annual holiday highlight. The the uh, tour there at West Oakey at the o Opportunity Village campus is really spellbinding. It's really it fun. It's a, it's a must-see, and it all kicks off tonight, and it runs through December 31st out there every night. Big part of our community, it right? It is. They're, they're amazing people. I, I love the people at Opportunity Village. Well, I had Lance Burton on last week, and we just want to remind everyone about this show, because a lot of people are looking forward to it. It's Lance and Friends, and he's yep. coming out of retirement for two shows only. He's got a, he's what he calls a two-show residency. <laughs> <laughs> at least Lance is honest about it. This is our two-show residency at the Orleans and Lance Burton uh, with Fielding West, Michael Godot, uh, Kevin West are the other um, performers who are mm -hmm. going to be with him and this is the lineup he's taken on the road occasionally to do charity shows. Lance once in a while will show up and do a charity event but he doesn't do full shows in Las Vegas hardly ever. Uh, Friday and Saturday night at the Orleans showroom he will be back and Lance was a very big deal for a long time at mm -hmm. the Monte Carlo th uh, Theater for a uh, name for him for 14 years and yeah. uh, decided to say I'm going to step off the stage for in 2010 and has not returned and he's had offers to do that. Okay yeah he's a great guy and he wants to do part of this for charity too. I know that's yeah. Yeah, he's doing it, yes, so. this is a charity show for, uh, uh, I can't remember the name of the charity, it's a children's I can't foundation. Yeah, but, uh, I think it's it on is. the flyer. <laughs> on the flyer, folks, yeah. It helps the kids. Yes, it That's does. That's all we know. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk Absinthe. Um, this is interesting. They're throwing a New Year's Eve party now. Have they, they done this before? I don't think so. They haven't done a full-scale New Year's okay. Eve party. They've had shows on New Year's Eve, but they haven't done a special party, and they're going to um, open up the courtyard that night and have a special 9.30 p.m. Uh, performance, and then there's going to be a party after that performance. Uh, to celebrate uh, the the success of the show and uh, all the frivolity that isn't attached to it, and uh, we, we just wrote a story about uh, their 4,000th show, as you know, and mm -hmm. uh, and I wrote a big column about the status of Spiegel World, what they have planned out there at the Roman Plaza. Uh, absinthe can be described in a single word right now: juggernaut. Yeah. It sells out more often than not. It does 14 shows a week, uh, two shows a night every night, and it can't be stopped. And uh, it continues to just become more and more successful. And they've got other plans out there at the Roman Plaza for next year, including an LED wormwood tree that was at, oh. um, that was at Burning Man Festival is going to be part of their expansion on Roman Plaza. So Absinthe is here to stay. I feel like that's kind of a cool place for New Year's Eve because if you've ever seen the show, like who doesn't want to hang out with all those people, right? Yeah, and it's a great <laughs> spot to see the fireworks too. Yeah, You can get down is. there and just set in. So it's a great idea and I'm sure it'll sell out like everything else Absinthe does. I think a lot of people like to kind of get in somewhere and be planted mm -hmm. until you need to get out. And stay. <laughs> yes, just stay. I know, that's, a, that's how you handle the strip. Get there early and hang. Yeah. Okay, so your name my name's John Castlemedes. For short, we so call far, you Cats. So far, so good. You got a column also called Cats, and now you Three have a podcast. Podcasts. This is my <laughs> new podcast, ladies and gentlemen. It's called Podcasts. Okay. And if you are an entertainer in Las Vegas, you're going to be on Podcasts. It's like the Love Boat. Everybody rides it. It's on the uh, Review Journal website now under my on my index page. You're going to see it on my uh, social media. Mm -hmm. Go to the go to the Cats tab on uh, on the Review Journal. Uh, site. We've got a whole bunch of guests coming out uh, right now. Frankie Marino, the Tenors of Rock, Bronx Wanderers, Philip Fortenberry uh, just uh, interviewed the Righteous Brothers last night. Chris Angel, a great interview. Mm -hmm. it, there are a total of about 20 interviews stacked up coming out that I've been working on for quite a while, as you know. Yeah. And uh, it's a really fun. All these interviews are done in the field. Uh, in showrooms and theaters. Of course and they are, because you have a hotspot Wi-Fi that hot you bring along wifi. with you, and it's perfect for that. It's on perfect. The site you interviews. mock the Wi-Fi. <laughs> you mock. Wi-Fi is the way of the future, ladies and gentlemen. I but know. anyway, all these okay. all these episodes are done live in the field, and there's a lot of energy, and everybody is going to be on it, and it's a lot of fun. Perfect. So far, so good. All right, you'll be Thank, on it. Yeah, I'm sure I will. Thanks so much, Kat. So we'll see you next week. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>